a senior at Duke University, and I'm one of the 100 finalists for the Mars One project. Mars One is an endeavor, uh, it's a private space company that seeks to send people to Mars in the coming decade. Two summers ago, I decided to apply to be one of the first people to live on Mars. And just this February, I found out that I'm in the final hundred. We're here at the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History. I'm from Long Island, New York, where as a kid I grew up looking through my telescope in my backyard at the night sky. The trip from Earth to Mars takes approximately seven months, and what that does is it uses Earth to sort of slingshot us using gravity to get to Mars, and it's a very efficient way to travel. The Mars One mission is going to shoot to land between 40 and 45 degrees of latitude, so that there's enough light hitting us, um, our solar panels, that we can produce energy, but there's also enough water ice in the soil so that we can extract water and use that for our settlement. Mars One has designed a mission that is much simpler than previous designs for Mars missions. The most significant simplification is that the crew is actually going to stay and live on Mars with the intention to remain there for the rest of their lives. My parents are very supportive. My mom is definitely a little bit nervous about the, the technology. Um, she wants to be sure that I'm safe, and I definitely do too. Um, but she really is excited that I'm getting this wonderful opportunity to pursue my dream. And both my mom and my dad see it as a really the next big step for humanity. Even if this mission doesn't succeed, it's going to it's enabling people to really think and consider um, what it would take to get humans to Mars. And I think that that is extremely useful in itself. The chances of success for this mission are pretty much impossible to say. However, the fact that we've gotten even this far to the point where we're really considering and we're thinking about the different pieces of technology that we'll use and the, maybe the types of training um, can be useful to any future endeavor to send people to Mars and I'm fairly confident that we'll see people there in my lifetime.